y'all I can't even front if I was to rate how I'm feeling right now on a scale of 1 to 10 it would probably be about a 4 or a 5 now I'm just gonna put it out there it is that time of the month and ladies you know exactly what I'm talking about I feel like a whale um, I'm getting cramps I'm just drained in all facets mentally and physically I just want to lay down um, but you know you can't get stuck in that mindset you can't get stuck in that rut so because life does go on and we're busy people we got things we got to do we got to push through it um, so I went and took it upon myself to go on Google and look up some remedies just to, you know, give me a little boost. And I knew I didn't want to take any pills um, or any sort of like ibuprofen or anything. I'm really not big into that. I prefer the natural way, at least in the beginning. And if that doesn't work, then that's when I um, dose up on medication. But I took it upon myself to Google natural remedies for um, menstrual cramps and pain. And so I found a couple that I want to test out. And so the first one, you know, something that probably we've all done is apply heat. So applying heat to the affected area, so getting a heat pad or a hot water bottle, taking a hot shower. Online they mentioned taking a hot bath. I don't know about taking a bath while on my period. Just the visual, of, especially if you have a heavy flow. Um, yeah, just, no, I, I wouldn't recommend taking a bath. Just me personally, I'm not gonna submerge myself in constricted body of water. But you can um, substitute that with taking a hot shower and again with the heat pad and getting a hot water bottle or even the rice method, getting uncooked rice and putting it in a sock and tying it and laying it on your stomach. Um, I did read that a heat patch or a heat pad that's 104 degrees is just as effective as ibuprofen. Another thing that I saw was magnesium. Magnesium apparently eases cramps and menstrual pain. Magnesium regulates nerve and muscle function. So you can um, get your daily value or your daily amount of magnesium in a multivitamin or you can eat foods like almonds and spinach, dark leafy vegetables. They have a lot of magnesium in them. Another one that I saw was drinking peppermint tea. So peppermint tea eases constricting muscles and since it's warm, drinking it, that warmth will be soothing in itself. So I do have some peppermint tea that I'm gonna try. Um, the next one that I saw online was fish oil supplements. So apparently fish oil supplements lowers inflammation. So that nasty kind of yucky bloated feeling that you get. Um, any sort of fish oil. I have cod liver oil here that I'm gonna try and I think I bought it at Walmart for like $4. So I'm gonna see if that works um, with helping because I, guys, I bloat bad. I, I feel like a whale when that time of the month rolls around. So anything that could help with that, I am gonna try it. Um, I also saw B1 supplements. They help with contracting muscles and conducting nerve signals. So that sounds pretty good. And again, you can probably um, get your daily amount of that in a multivitamin. And I believe they also sell like just the B1 vitamin pills. Those were some um, short-term relief or remedies for quick relief. I also saw some that were kind of like lifestyle changes that can help over the course of a period of time. And that consisted of a healthier diet, and exercising regularly, taking your multivitamins, and even birth control. Now personally, um, I do take the pill. I am on birth control and I've noticed that with taking it, my period schedule is regulated and my PMS symptoms and menstrual cramps or whatever have decreased. However, the first day for me is the worst and that's normally when I cramp up a little bit and so um, I plan on compiling these tips and trying them out and seeing how they go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tips that I talked um, through today and I'm going to try them out and I'm going to let you guys know how they went on part two of this video. So please, please, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss part two where I walk you through exactly what I did and I'll let you know what worked and what didn't work for me. Now, I am not a doctor. 
by any means so I'm just literally I just went on Google to answer my questions it worked its magic it gave me a nice little concise list of tips and I'm just taking those tips and seeing what's works what works for me I would love if you can comment below with any tips that work for you that maybe I didn't talk about today um, I would love this to kind of be like a forum or of some sort where we can talk about the different things that work for you I can talk about what works for me and who knows I mean we could help a lot of people we, we could be a good team you know we got to stick together all right so thank you guys for tuning in be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss part two of this video thanks guys see you soon